Hey good everyone and welcome to KGB Gaming's YouTube channel. My name is Proxy and today I'll be showing a tutorial on how to set up a music bot. You don't need any plugins but what you will need is virtual audio cable, TeamSpeak 3 and a media player of your choice. The first step would be to download virtual audio cable. I will leave all the links down below. But once you've downloaded that you'll see it will be downloaded in a zip folder. So now first we need to extract the files in this folder. So right click on that, say extract files, uh, you can make it into a folder that of your choosing. I would suggest you put it on your desktop and name it something that you can easily recognize. I called it virtual audio cable as you can see over here. But go ahead and extract that. Once you've extracted that you'll see that inside the folder of files you have all of these. Now you'll see there are two set of files. This is because virtual audio cable supports both 32-bit systems and 64-bit systems. To find out what system you have go ahead and click on Windows, uh, your Windows button. Click on my right click on my computer, set properties, and you'll see there's a line that says system type. Mine says 64 bit um, operating system, but yours may say 32 bit. If yours says 32 bit, go ahead and click this setup. If yours says 64 bit, go ahead and click this setup. Once you've figured out which setup you need, go ahead and install VAC. Once you've installed VAC, go ahead and open TeamSpeak. If you do not have TeamSpeak, then why are you watching this video? I'm kidding. I'll leave a link for TeamSpeak down below as well. But go ahead and open TeamSpeak. Once you've opened TeamSpeak, go ahead and go to Settings and Options. Now we have two steps that we need to accomplish here. The first is to set up a playback profile, and the second is to set up a capture profile. To set up a playback profile, go ahead and click on Playback, and click on this little plus icon over here. Give it a name. You can name it anything you want, but just make it something that you'll remember. I'm just going to call it Bot. And then we're going to have to change a few settings. Now to change these settings, make sure you have Bot selected. Otherwise, you're going to be changing your default settings and that could mess you up in the long run. So go ahead and click Bot, go to Playback Device and make sure you select Line 1. This is another new playback device that Virtual Audio Cable has added. So go ahead and click that and change both of these to 0. That will make sure that you don't hear yourself twice. And click Apply. Next, we need to make a capture profile. In a similar manner, Click on capture and click on the plus button. Again, call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it the same thing, which is bot. Make sure you have bot selected. Go to capture device and change that to line one. You can either click on continuous transmission or voice activation. However, if you click on voice activation, make sure that your threshold is very, very low. The third and last thing you need to set up is your identity. So go to settings and identities. Click on add and call it what you want. I'm just going to call it bot. Okay, so now we can go ahead and connect our bot. You'll see I'm already connected to a TeamSpeak server. So if I want to bring up my music bot, I'm going to go to Connections, Connect. Your Connect tab might open looking a bit like this. To get the other options, go ahead and click on More. Now go to Identity and change it to the one you've just made, which is Bot. Do the same thing for Capture Profile and Playback Profile. Now for your Hotkey Profile and your Sound Pack, you don't necessarily need to change them, but if you do, you can change it to a Custom Profile or you can change it to None. Make sure you have your server address typed in and then go ahead and click on new tab. Now I've connected my bot in a new tab which means I can both control my own client and my bot at the same time. Now that we set up both virtual audio cable and our TeamSpeak bot we can now go ahead and set up our media player to start playing our music. I'm going to be showing you how to play music through VLC media player and Windows media player as well as playing directly from your web browser. When the window opens, go ahead and click on Organize and Options. Click on the tab that says Devices, go to Speakers and Properties. Once you're in Properties, yours will open looking a bit like this. You now need to change this to Line 1. Go ahead and click Apply and OK. You may need to open and close Media Player again for the settings to take effect. So now, if I want to start playing music through my TNC bot, all I need to do is go ahead and press Play. You'll see the music is playing through my bot alone. I can still talk however over it and I can change the volume wherever I want to. Go ahead and open VLC. Once you have VLC open, click on audio, audio device and immediately select line 1. So now, once you have your music file loaded, all you need to do is go ahead and click play.
Firstly, go back to settings and options. In this case, we need to change our default settings. So go ahead and click on playback and default. Make sure your playback device is directly selected in the list. In my case, it will be speakers. So go ahead and make sure that that is applied. Do the same for capture. This time, make sure your capture device is directly selecting your microphone. So go ahead and apply. So now to change the default settings, right click on your speakers and go to playback devices. You're going to scroll down to line one and say set default. In a similar fashion, you're going to go to click on the recording tab, scroll down, click on line one and say set default. So now that we set our default settings, we can go ahead and open our browser. You can use whatever browser you want. In this case, I'm going to be using Google Chrome. Go ahead and click on your song. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Remember, if you need any assistance when online on KGB, feel free to join the admin assistance channel and a tech or an admin will help you gladly. Let me know in the comments below if there are any other tutorials that you guys are going to need and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!